So I'd like to start with a question for Anne, uh, who's really done some uh, quite stellar research into public engagement. Um, so Anne, can we dig into these definitions? Um, what is uh, research impact, uh, and what are the, difference, the differences between that and public engagement? Uh, what are, where are some of the overlaps as well? Um, I think it's a particularly interesting question, especially in the UK, and Stephen will be able to talk a little bit more about this in terms of that, if we're putting the words research impact in quotes together. But I think the, the basic point that I would make is that we all want our research to have an impact. Mm. We all want people to know about what we're doing. We want people to share in what we're doing. So I think we all want to have some kind of effect, make some kind of change in our society. And I think putting the word research impact, um, particularly with the in the UK with the REF, simply extends that desire in some ways, you know, to have a benefit to the economy, to culture, to society, or whatever. Great. I think where that changes slightly with to public engagement is that public engagement is about much more than that. It's about people becoming engaged with research. So, and researchers can interact with people in all kinds of ways and all kinds of stakeholders. And for me, I think the important thing is that that can happen over all the stages of research, from the posing of the research question to the production or to the co-creation of the research, you know, to the production of new knowledge, right the way through to dissemination. So I think engagement is about much more than impact. But I think, I think what, where the relationship has come in is that Public engagement can be the, the engine that, that, as Watermeyer puts it, that, that frames and motivates impact. So they have a relationship, but they're not quite the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, Stephen, maybe you'd like to weigh in as well on that question. Um, I know funders have, have definitely stepped up their game uh, in terms of recognizing the impact of research. Um, can you, yeah, can you sort of share share how how hefty understand impact um, and maybe also highlight some of those differences between subject areas so um, I, would, I would agree entirely with what Anne said about about impact uh, being very broad and being really about uh, the, the benefits that research brings outside of the academy the, the benefits that are brought to, to wider society um, Engagement, public engagement is part of that and, and uh, other sorts of engagement, engagement with businesses, engagement with, with civil society groups, engagement with government uh, and other policy makers are all part of that broad impact, uh, impact agenda. And if, if we're talking about impact and public engagement, I, I kind of see the, a Venn diagram where there are uh, that there is uh, that there is an overlap between impact and public engagement, but not all impact depends on public engagement, and not all public engagement necessarily is directly delivering impact. Um, in in terms of subject uh, disciplines um, and the differences, um, I, th I think there are clearly some areas of impact uh, that are more suited to to uh, some disciplines than than others. So impact on on health, you might. Uh, expect to be quite heavily concentrated in uh, in research that's uh, medical research or associated disciplines. Impact on on film and theatre, uh, you might expect to be very very concentrated in in arts and humanities disciplines. And broadly speaking, that's correct. But um, you know the, the research that we've been funding, uh, carried out by Digital Science and by King's College London, to look at the impact case studies that we've submitted to the, to our last assessment exercise shows that it's really much more complicated than that. So uh, even though those broad principles uh, align, there are surprising ways in which disciplines impact in areas uh, of society you wouldn't expect them to. Um, and, and one of the most striking findings that, that comes out of that research, as far as I'm concerned, is, uh, is that many of the impacts that were submitted for assessment depend on research from really quite diverse disciplinary areas. So uh, it's the combination of knowledge and insight from different disciplines that often generates impact, and, and I think we see that very strongly in the uh, in the REF impact case studies. Mm.